Hey guys, we're back in the shop. Um, <laughs> you know, this thing runs so good, I'm almost hesitant to even tear into it. But um, I know we're not done. Um, so I guess uh, I'll just settle with kudos to PHP. Uh, I really like that 80 towing tune. I've been driving this thing around for a day or so with that tune in it here now. And uh, I'll tell you what, I, I never thought this truck would move like that stock. Um, between putting that exhaust on there, uh, putting the hydro chip on there with that 80 towing tune in it, uh, that's a whole new truck. I mean, it doesn't exactly blow clouds of black smoke, but uh, it makes more smoke out of that 5-inch pipe than I ever thought it would with stock injectors. Um, not that that's the goal, but uh, smoke out the tailpipe is fuel, so it's definitely getting the fuel through the motor. Uh, this thing is a fun, fun truck to drive the way it sits. So I can only imagine what it's going to do uh, once we do these upgrades to the turbo and... Uh, put some new injectors in it. So next up is turbo work. Um, kind of a quick overview. There's the snail. Uh, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to pull this thing out and replace the compressor side. I've got that uh, billet riffraff wheel to put into it. So we're going to put that riffraff wheel in. Also we're going to gut the uh, exhaust back pressure valve. Um, this section of the turbo is basically just a big flapper valve that operates in there. Um, in the pedestal, kind of down underneath the back side of the turbo, there's a oil solenoid, basically, that opens and closes and pressurizes a piston that acts on an arm that closes that valve and um, provides a little bit of back pressure to the engine it's supposed to help in warming the engine up under cold operating conditions. Um, this one I don't think has ever worked. You can see I've got a piece of wire down there just holding that crank arm open uh, just so it doesn't find its way shut. But I'll take some pictures or some video once we get this thing out and give you a picture of what that actually looks like in there. Just um, having that thing in the outlet of the turbo does pose some restriction. So. I don't know if it'll be enough to really make it work uh, any better, but we're going to take it out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and gut that valve when we've got it out to put the, the wheel in the compressor. So I'm going to tear into this thing. Uh, we'll start pulling piping off and uh, try and get this turbo out of here. This is not a fun job. Um, pulling the turbos out of these things while they're in the truck is not my favorite thing. So um, at any rate, we're going to hop in here and get to work. So I'll uh, jump back in here and update you with uh, the progress once we get there. So that's it for now. All right, so we've been at this just a couple minutes. I've got some of the piping out of the way. Um, just one tip, I wouldn't call it a pro tip because I don't consider myself a pro, but take a couple of clean rags, stuff them down into these intake plenums when you've got them off. Because if you drop a bolt down in there, and you've got to pull these plenums off and reseal them with silicone just to get the bolt out. It's really going to ruin your day. So take a couple seconds, shove an old pair of socks or something in there. Just plug those up so you don't lose anything down the motor. And uh, yeah, it looks like i got a little bit of a fuel leak going on down there. I don't know if you can see that or not. So we'll have to figure out what that is while we got the snail out of the way. More when I've got some progress to show. Well, guys, we got it. It wasn't without uh, its challenges, but a big hole there where the turbo used to be. And there she sits. So I already took the bolts out of the compressor housing. One, two, three, four. I'll have to separate that. Well, lucky for me, somebody siliconed it up already. So that'll be a little bit of a challenge. But uh, I'm going to replace that wheel. And got the exhaust back pressure valve. So here's that uh, oil actuated piston. Just takes oil pressure from the oil supply 
switches it through here and actuates to close that valve. So we'll grind these rivets off, pound them out, get that valve out of there, the shaft just drops out the bottom, and then you plug the hole with a half inch freeze plug. So I'm going to go ahead and take this housing off, just separate it, um, just makes it a little easier to work with, put it in a vise, that way I'm not beating and banging on that exhaust housing. So that's, uh, that's what we got. You can see about how much restriction that is. It's not huge, but it does make a difference. So give it every chance we can to breathe as well as possible. So we're going to get that out of the way while we've got it off the truck. Uh, we'll be back with more video once I make some more progress.